Hey everybody, XCI here. Welcome back to a blind let's play of To the Moon. And I am playing uh, Watts right now. Walking through the house, getting some candy canes for children. Investigating the homestead of Johnny. So I think it's the little girl here is the trouble kid right here. So, all right kiddos. I was against a lot of odds back there, but I got the candy cane. It's probably a decade old and tastes like rubber, but you can use it like a walking stick. Will you show me around the house now? All right, where do we start? I know, there's this funny room in the basement. Okay, I don't like that funny room. Er, uh, what kind of funny room? You'll see. It's weird. <laughs> we need to get the keys, though. Uh, let us continue this quest. The old man hid it inside a book in the study. Oh, no problem. Uh, well, there was a book upstairs, which I'm assuming is... what. The... Well, let's check this to see if this is a study. Oh, well, I can go in now. Indeed. This is the book room. The key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. Of course it's on the upper shelf. What can I move? Oh, can I just... Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Huh. He was an artist. Did I see the... Uh, right here. What's this one? The Emperor's New Clothes by Hans Christian Andersen. Read passage. And the colors, the colors of that beautiful fabric. I have never seen anything like it in my life. They all try to conceal their disappointment at not being able to see the uh, to see the clothes. A child, however, who had no important role and could only see things as his eyes showed them to him went up to the carriage but he hasn't got anything on the child said don't talk nonsense his father reprimanded but the boy's remark which had been heard by the bystanders was repeated over and over dust light the tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies which showered with gentle sunlight when the twilight come out <laughs> read passage uh maybe next time <laughs> now read it now the man sure knows where to hide things in the book no one ever wants to pick up and read huh is this the key tommy used to throw books at me and call it a book fight until one day I threw him back and he needed a band-aid. He <laughs> Tommy. Is that how it went down? Just a bunch of books in here. They've nothing I don't know about though. Okay. Let's go on downstairs then, shall we? Into the strange room. We can open that funny room in the basement now. Let's go do it. Oh, I noticed that's a green arrow and the other ones are yellow. Sort of railroady, but that could be a that be trickery. <laughs> this is the basement. We play hide and seek in here, down here. Here? Just here? Probably just here. <laughs> Turn on the light before we trip over something. Okie dokie. Uh, let's check. Oh, that's probably the creeper room. Let's check the for more books here. A dusty pile of Animorphs books sit here. A dusty pile of Animorphs books. Wasn't there like a painting of... Something with um, anamorphic animals or something. The chest is locked. We'll see about how long that stays locked for, huh? Okie dokie. What's in the cupboard? Probably a hide and seek place. A, hi a hiding place for hide and go seek. The cabin is filled with dusty books. Or not. Maybe it's just filled with dusty books. Boxes filled with colored paper. Okay, now hold on. 
talk there was the one book with the colored stuff is one of them colorblind the chest is locked the chest is locked okay well we need two keys now huh this turn off or on it turns off okay doke I'm gonna wait let's just talk let's just uh, walk in here and then we'll talk the door is locked what the hell I thought you said there we go open door with room key okay now I just got I'm not afraid we used to find all kinds of cool jugs here moldy books moldy buckets moldy cheese you name it once we were down here, and the lights went out, and Tommy fell down the stairs. He chipped a tooth, but that's okay, because he's ugly to begin with. God. Alright, well, let's go into the creepy place. It's like a cave in here. It's not a horror game, I have nothing. What the hell are those things? Rabbits? What is that? Great, it broke him. It's not this is not a horror game. Oh they're plat they're not platypuses, they're like rabbits or something. A stuffed toy platypus. I legitimately just got super dizzy. Just give me a second here. I don't know if it's the sound or what the hell. Felt like I was gonna pass out there for a <laughs> What a hideous little creature. We take it back. Receive toy platypus. I think the sound is actually legitimately messing me up right now. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Just walk over there so we can get the hell out of here, man. Broken. Okay. Can I not? A rabbit folded out a paper. Oh no, I'm getting dizzy. I'm getting it legitimately. I don't know. Now I'm getting out. <laughs> Sarah, did you see it? Oh my god. Give me the pretty music. Thank you. That's not pretty. What did you kids know? Uh, what 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 do you kids know about all those rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. They never told him what? There are more of them actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. Wanna go see? I got the keys. Let me guess. You aren't supposed to go in there either. Hehehe. <laughs> Remind me to never keep any locked cabinets around you too. There's like two of them right here and right here. So you want to go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather windy outside, but decision. Oh, to heck with it. I'm Dr. Watts. Mere wind can't stop me. Watts just be a choose your own adventure where you can like work and end on you. Come on, let's kick some butts. Oh, cool, Dwight. Tommy doesn't like turtles. Sorry, I'm legitimately dizzy for some reason. We have Sarah, aspiring professional ice cream taster, aiming for the top. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, let's go outside. That was a kitchen, right? What could go wrong? Right here, right? Right. 
right. There it is. So what is it, Lighthouse? We need to head south to the street and take the other path to go down to it. Yeah, I, I forgot my parachute. Wait, let's not let's not be up here anymore. This actually feels like super dangerous, and I just realized your mother's inside and she'll kill me. I'm not actually gonna do this, right? How do I? Okay. You guys are cool. All of a sudden, I'm feeling like I shouldn't be doing this. This music is not helping. You just say we have to go back to the road and around, right? Fairly certain. Oh no! My novelty beach ball! Somebody broke it! Oh! Uh, it was stupid anyways. But, but it's the bestest novelty beach ball I've ever had. Oh, who could have been so cruel? Uh, uh, don't worry. Dr. Rosalina will buy you another one. No, don't do it. She will? Oh, yeah, sure. Just ask her afterwards. We kind of need to get along now, though. And let's keep moving. Well, don't get fancy. Just if I click somewhere, figure it out. <laughs> you figure it out. Sarah, it's smoking. Yeah, yeah, the car is smoking. Yeah, I kind of parked it wrong. Who's the dummy that crashed the car? That was uh, Dr. Rosaline. Yeah. Oh, Dr. Rosaline. <laughs> what a silly, mean woman. Uh, no one look at the squirrel. Don't get traumatized for life. Oh, yeah, we're down. somewhere new. Somewhere new. What is this? Oh, something's sleeping. Okay. Wake it up. Oh, a squirrel. Okay. <laughs> What's happening? What are we doing? <laughs> Don't worry, kids. I got this. Are we f gonna fight that? <sighs> Defend. The best defense is a good offense. Oh my god. Shoo. Yelling <laughs> loudest. This ends here. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> or we'll tell you. Or we tell my animal abuse. Oh. Well, I was trying to protect you. Yeah, she'll call the cops on you. Oh, come on. I wasn't actually gonna... I totally wasn't. I don't kill squirrels. <laughs> don't you like role-playing? Oh, is this the joke? I mean, Undertale's me? Okay. I did this This game before Undertale. So Undertale's is to the mooning all of us. <laughs> mooning all of us. Okay. Yo, should have been ashamed of yourself. <laughs> hey. Have you ever had squirrels on your university campus? Huh? Huh? Chasing you? Huh? No, I did. So stop. Okay? It's trauma. Let's name it Teddy. Okay. Let's just go. My whole night is ruined. <laughs> Dr. Watts is talking like a child because I forget to read the names. <laughs> Let's get going. We came here to explore and that's what we're going to do. Oh, well, there's no arrows, so that means you can't explore over there. Just follow what the kids told you, man. The kids told you go around and go up. Just got to work our way around the cliff here. There we go. Let's all board it up and cramp. Why does this keep coming up? That's throwing me like, I get it. I mean, I've been playing for a while for like a half, 45 minutes. Like, chill. 
In memory of River E. Wiles, and then the wife died two years ago. River Wiles is, huh? Was she John's wife? Don't know. Thought Wiles was the name of a retirement estate. No, that's his. That's his. Come on, the lighthouse is right there. Right, and the caretaker is... Right, it's his caretaker because the wife dies. Hmm. Well, my brain's going kind of places at this point because of that quote at the beginning, too. What was the quote at the beginning? I thought, I thought they were lighthouses. Connected to the what? This is it. This is creepy, is what it is. A multicolored paper rabbit. Multicolored. Hey, this wasn't here when we came last week. Wait, am, am I playing? Is this, a, this is not a horror. This is not a horror game. <laughs> Oh yeah, y'all talking about crying and stuff. Oh yeah, Johnny must have come here before he fell ill again. Two colors, huh? Am I the only one who's a little creeped out by these though? Yeah, you are. Yep. Okay, so it's just an adult thing? What the? Someone's calling me. Rosaline? Ah, I should have guessed. Yeah, yeah, we're coming. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All right, let's head back. As for this, receive paper rabbit. Hmm. What the cactus were you doing? Rosaline, chill, man. Burning ants with a magnifying glass? Don't be like that. Using moonlight? Uh, okay. I was taking a nap then. God, it's so hard to be a smartass nowadays. You're pretty good at being half of it. <laughs> She's so rude. Your helmet's on the couch. Get it on. We're going in. Inception time! Where's the uh, couch? The couch? Is that what you said? Did, did, what did you say? Right here? Oh, it's covered. Initiate. Ready or not, here goes. Just don't go to the fourth layer. It was four levels, right? Deep. Don't go four times. Don't go four layers deep. Never come back out. effects the hell was that this should be the last accessible memory disable speech for all except Johnny done let's get him at any time you can view your position in time the clocks man Time running out? No. Losing your memory when you get old and crap? By moving the mouse towards the... At any time you can view your position... Oh... Yeah, but it's like this weird delay thing. They keep my frames... For... Well, they're 30 now, but... Oh my gosh, this is... Oh, yep, yep, yep. You're going four layers deep, folks. Bad idea. That's a cool mechanic. That's cool.
Okay. Um, oh, 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 hey, wait, wait, wait. Oh man, my mouse is, that delay thing, I always think something's loading. Uh-huh, they're blank. Wait, this is the most recent memory it said. See, sometimes I think things and I'm like, I don't want to say what I'm thinking, right? I don't want to say what I'm thinking. There's that lag again. 20 frames per second. Jesus, how intense does this game have to be? <laughs> Received. Note. Clock. The clocks in Johnny's house never tick. Man, this game is so weird. Well, I can't click on it again. Cuz you know it's me it's messing with you. Like it's giving you well, I guess that's the point of the game, I suppose, right? written by him Wiles what kind of song is this it's just two notes repeated over and over see Johnny H Wiles for River all right uh, that's blocked that blo that's a interesting way to do it they just block you from going. That's all right. Unless it needs something else, but probably not. Let's just go inside. Okay. Uh, I say tower. I say I say up here. Wait. No, let's go up here and then I'll go around. <gasps> oh. Oh. Oof. Chills. We we'll try not to swerve. <laughs> Johnny and River. What a pleasant surprise! We don't get many visitors around here. I mean, you're just not watching. You're in the memories. This is Matrix. Well, Matrix wasn't about memories. Inception was about memories. Matrix was just different worlds. My name is, well, no, and machines crafting memories. <laughs> My name is Dr. Ava Rosaline, and this is Dr. Vaughn Matterhorn, Dr. Lorenzo Vaughn Matterhorn, <laughs> Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? So I was checking the anagrams there for a second. Or are you two from the agency? I'm so confused though. Because, oh, I see. Because he would have had to have been alive. He pro you probably like agree to have this done when you get to a certain point. To have these ag this these a this agency come in and do this stuff to your memory. Oh my god, you're gonna be playing backwards through the game. Okay, uh, how convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you, Lily. Oh, that's not River. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Actually, you've already called us. No problem. I love this shit. Uh, stuff. I love this stuff. <laughs> We're here to fulfill our contract from the relative future. Less than two years. C 
Careful there. If you step off the cliff, we're going to have to reload this memory. Watch it, Neil. Show some respect. Uh, it's just a program, you know? I know, but this is his last accessible memory, and we need its cooperation. Worst comes to worst, we can just reboot it. That's kind of cool. Why would you waste time like that? You... You are here to take me to the moon, aren't you? Yes, John. I suppose I had a good run. Not good enough, it seems. What? So, can you do it? Can you take me to the moon? We can't, but you might be able to. Why do you want to go there? I don't know. It's fine. You can tell us. It's essential for helping us get you to go there. Do you want the fame? The money? You've got to have a motive. I think it's the wife. Something to do with the wife. I'm sorry, but I really don't know. I just do. I can already tell that this is going to be a pain in the ass. Nevertheless, Johnny, here's what we will do. We need to get to your childhood, but it's too distant to do so in one memory hop. Thus, we need to traverse through your memories with gradual backwards leaps which you've given us permission to do in the relative future. Once we lay down the waypoints in your childhood memories for direct access, we will return here. That's when you'll need to help us influence the childhood you to become an astronaut or to get a giant catapult. <laughs> Smart ass. The point is, You'll need to have more to say than just, I don't know. As long as you can take me to the moon, I will cooperate in any way possible. Good. Now, in order to leap to a memory, we need an item of, we need an item that is important. We need an item that is of importance to you. I got one. Two. Maybe. I don't know what the plot of us, but... Do you have a memento of some sort to get us started? That'll do. Well, shall we? Ladies first. As I drop in frame rates. <laughs> Note, oh, note, moon. We'll need to prepare this memento first. The movie Memento is also a very good reference point, by the way. Great movie, unappreciated. Phenomenal movie, but if you've seen it once, you sort of never need to see it again. I don't want to say any more about it. Just go watch it. <laughs> You'll see the other reference point I have now. It, you've already got it. It's the whole... Go, Okay, I'm not going to explain in detail. It's the whole going backwards in memories and things like that. It's a, it's a trippy movie. Okay. Uh, prepare. Okay, okay. Well, that's a that's a rabbit. Complete the memento. Click the orbs. Oh, this is fun. What is this? Complete the memento. Click the orbs to flip pieces. That's cool. I gotta, I gotta make it. 
Oh, oh, I see, I see. Okay, no problem. No problem. <laughs> Super easy level right there. The memento can now be activated for traversal. What's happening? Okay, here we go. Oh. Or not? Do I... Oh, I see. Should I search around, man? Should I search around? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to end this episode here. I'm going to search around before pushing forward just in case there's something at the road. And I can go around and back to the light tower. I can see if there's something in this memory that's important for me to take in right now before going back in time. Back in memories, which is kind of back in time. <laughs> Anyways, I'll catch you there. Don't forget to explore, engage, and inspire, everybody. Peace.